Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to install and configure Loopback Adapter in the Windows Server. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's continue the tutorial. First we will see the installation of Loopback Adapter. Microsoft's Loopback Adapter can be installed to provide a virtual network connection and IP address. Important information. Here, we have used Windows Server 2016 as a demo. You can use the mentioned steps in the video to install and configure Loopback Network on any Windows Server OS. First of all, you need to log in into your Windows Server as an administrator user. Here, we are logged into our demo Windows VPS with administrator user. Go to the taskbar located at the bottom of the screen. Select the search option and click on it. Once you click on it, a search box will appear. Type device manager on it. Once type it, you will see it above. Click on it to open it. By clicking on it, one window will be opened with the name Device Manager. Select the server name and right click on it. After then select the Add Legacy Hardware option and click on it. Once you click on it, one new window will be opened with the name Add Hardware. Click on the next button to proceed further. Select the second option Install the hardware that I manually select from a list advance. After then click on the next button. In the common hardware types. Scroll down the menu. Select the network adapters. After then click on the next button. In the select network adapter window. Go to the manufacturer section. And select Microsoft from the list. Go to the model section. And select Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter from the list of network adapters. After then click on the next button. In order to start installing the Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter, click on the next button. Once you click on it, the installation process will be started. It will take a few minutes to complete. Once it is installed, you will get a message on the screen that the following hardware was installed. Click on the Finish button to close the Add Hardware window. Let's see configuration of Loopback Adapter. Once the Loopback Adapter is installed on the server, you can configure it via the Network and Sharing Center. Go to the taskbar. Right click on the network icon located in the bottom right corner of the desktop taskbar. Select Open Network and Sharing Center from the menu and click on it. Once you click on it, one new window will be opened with the name Network and Sharing Center. Select the Link Change Adapter setting located on the left side of the window and click on it. By clicking on it, one new window will be opened with the name Network Connections. Select the Network Adapter Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter and right click on it. Select the Properties option in the drop down list and click on it. 
Once you click on it, one new window will be opened with the name Ethernet Properties. Go to the Networking tab and select the Internet Protocol version 4. After then click on the Properties button. By clicking on it, one dialog box will be opened with the name Internet Protocol version 4 properties. Go to the General tab. Here, you have to configure IP address network and DNS settings as required. Select the Radius button. Use the following IP address. Once you select it, the following option will be gray out. In the IP address field, enter the IP address which you want to assign to this network adapter. Here, we have entered this IP address as an example. In the subnet mask field, enter the subnet mask of your IP address. Here, we have entered this subnet mask as an example. In the default gateway field, enter the default gateway of your IP address. Here, we have entered an IP address as a default gateway. In the preferred DNS server field, Enter the IP address of your primary DNS server. You can also use Google Primary DNS Server. Here, we have used our primary DNS server IP address. In the alternate DNS server field, enter the IP address of your secondary DNS server. You can also use Google Secondary DNS Server. Here, we have used our Secondary DNS Server IP address. If you want to assign more than one IP address to your network adapter then you can add it by clicking on the Advanced button. After then click on the OK button to save it. Once you click on it, you will get a warning message of multiple default gateway. You can ignore it. Click on the Yes button to save the configuration. Click on the Close button to close the Ethernet Properties window. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to install and configure loopback adapter in the Windows Server. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, Please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.